Bulldogs are 3-1 on the season, coming off a of bye week and positioned number three in the state. Not a bad way to enter district play. Las Cruces is looking to keep the momentum going following a 42-6 win over Valley in week four. After all, the first step toward a state title is winning district. Captains line up midfield in anticipation of the coin toss. Cruces wins the toss and elects to put their defense on the field first. Your butt's up, you handle things the way you're supposed to handle things in, in, in preparation. Now it's time to go let it go. You got me? Yes, sir. Time to go play. Time to go do what you're capable of. All right? District, week one. You get the opportunity to start it right tonight. Start it together. Play for each other. Do the things you always do. You understand me? Yes, sir. Right, make sure that your assignment's sound. I take care of your business. I say it all the time. I'm going to say it one more time. You got 11 battles on every single play. Go win all 11. Expect yourself. Don't accept anything less from yourself than to go win all 11 battles on every single play. You got me? Yes, sir. <laughs> The game begins with a big gang tackle of a guess and return man, setting a strong tone for the game. Gadsden's offense would only advance a few yards before the stingy Bulldog defense forced a punt. Putting the ball in the hands of an offense that looked to be firing on all cylinders. Big runs from Ryan Beltran will put the team on the two yard line. Shane Morrow capped the drive, putting the dogs up seven early in the game. After a quick four and out by the Panthers, Peyton Ball would lead his team down the field and put the team up 14. Cruz's defense would continue its assault on the Gadsden offense, nearly coming up big on a forced fumble by Jason Stamper. punch it through for his third score of the season, putting the dogs up 21. After a near interception on the following drive, the Las Cruces special teams would come up big with a blocked punt from Kennedy Ullman. Gabe Casada picked up the loose ball and ran 20 yards for yet another Bulldog score. Even with a 28-point lead, the defense showed no signs of letting up, continuously shutting down the Panther offense. Big plays from Ivan Molina and Shane Morrow would once again have the Bulldogs in position to score. Beltran found pay dirt, putting his team up 35. The 
Panthers must have not gotten a memo. Don't kick to Baeza. But on a botched punt, they did just that, and he made them pay with six. The defense would end the half on a high note. Ivan Molina would start the second half with a huge 60-yard return, allowing senior Chase Chalopek to cap the drive with big runs and a score. After the Panthers were forced to punt, we would see another Cruces running back emerge on the field. Ruben Gonzalez's number would be called and he would answer with a game-winning touchdown. The Bulldogs would get the 55-0 win, but more importantly, their 1-0 in district play headed into Hobbs for Week 7. Bye week and you handled yourself like a championship team in the bye week. You stayed focused, we had all good practices, came off on a short week on a Thursday, and again you handled yourself well. That's what I'm going to continue to ask of you guys as we go forward. Make sense? Yes, that's, that's all I'm going to ask of you. Continue to handle yourself like a championship team. That road trip, hey, if we ain't used to road trips by now, man. I'll tell you what. Everything shifts. This thing's done, and we focus on how. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. All right, very good job. Make sure you got